Dana Baker and I was over here a couple months ago and we did this same test we're going to do today. And we saw a big difference. Uh, so I like to get a little ways from the fence. At uh, one time there was a hedgerow here. Uh, so we're going to get a little ways from that so we don't have to don't look at, you know, deposits from uh, uh, manure cattle congregating under hedgerows. So we're going to walk this way a little more. We're just going to try to find some representative area. And you know what, I forgot my drinking water. So, would you mind running back to the four wheeler and getting a bottle of water that's sitting on the back? A bottle of water? Yeah, there's some bottles on the back to them. Get grab one of them. So one one thing we checked was the soil temperature. Uh, typically pastures that have been and I can't really get that in the ground so I'm trying hard I'm going to break it Darren's got a fair amount of residue here uh, ground cover but typically grounds that are not covered as well have higher higher temperatures uh, in other words, they're not insulating the ground as much from the sun. And so, lower temperatures than the cold weather. Go ahead. What? And lower temperatures than the cold weather. Okay. Yeah, so the day Anna and I was here a couple months ago, it was just starting to warm up. And uh, we couldn't believe it. It was like 1 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, it was froze that night, I believe, or near freezing. And my ground was about 15 degrees warmer. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour that volume of water into the spring and we're going to time how long it takes for it to disappear. It's supposed to be halfway into the ground. I, I can't get it halfway in the ground. <laughs> we can pound on it some more and try and get a stop work going here. I'm smoothing it against the um, pipe. the pipe so that um, it doesn't just follow the pipe down um, that it we're really testing the soil instead of just um, the uh, way it goes along the pipe okay, okay you ready? Mm -hmm. pretty dry It's just regular water you put in, right? Yep. Yeah. But it's not soaking in. You would expect it to have some bubbles uh, from the air coming up out of the soil, and you would expect it to um, be soaking in. Six inch pipe. Six inch steel pipe. I mean, that's so the you want to be in three inches? I take it. Yeah, yeah that's the idea. Inch. Three inches, three inches of depth. Halfway in. in. Yeah. And you want this much water in it, so where the, the nick of it breaks. So if you have a new bottle of water from the, you know, convenience store, mm -hmm. you just take one gulp out of it, and then that's about the right amount to have one inch of water I on top of the soil. I didn't have for that reason. No, yeah. I didn't drink right out of it. I just mm -hmm. guessed. Yes. 
does it the amount of water is making difference as long as you use the same amount same amount yeah. on each one when you're timing it against each other but if you want to do it for research then you want to have it so that you'll measure an inch of water there what i've done too is to put a piece of plastic across it so that i'm releasing the water all at once instead of bubbling it in so like a, a, a saran wrap or a plastic bag typically he doesn't do a lot of rotations nothing like i do um, he owns ground west of me over there too, and he continues grazing that. And I always take a picture there, of my fence between him and me every summer. Uh, typically, my grass is way up here, you know, and his is eight way down. Um, if you want to know the biomass, but you take a piece of like and this, cool and where you find the resistance, that's, that that's where you measure the height of the grass. Same Not grass. just the tall, a few fronds, but John, yeah. where you actually have to see things, which is oh, yeah. right here. Different soil type, I bet. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, it's still better soil um, because he's been doing it right. We're about two and a half minutes at the moment. Which is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty much gone. It's going to probably be somewhere around 245. It's still shining, so I usually wait until it's shining this okay. day. See, that's mm -hmm. the part I don't know. Okay. It's hard to wait that long. You're talking about soil tests. I thought you were talking about soil probe where we send it in and everything. This is, this is just is more water infiltration. Is or this test. Organic matter. And, I mean, it's it's have yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're not going to look at that. We're going to dig up a, some dirt here a little bit and we're going to do a couple more tests over there. You know, the ones of these you see inside a continuous grazed pasture, usually the water doesn't infiltrate as well sometimes as a continuous crop field. It's kind of really amazing the, the compaction and everything that gets all well, continuous. The day we did this two months ago, we went over and the neighbor just planted no-till corn. He planted that morning, we were there that afternoon, and we put that ring right in the row where he planted. And we pounded it in, we poured the water in, and it got up over eight minutes. We just finally got tired of waiting, pulled the ring up and left. So there was a huge difference between these grasslands and that crop ground. So very poor over there where they're farming it. How much is that, that bottle of water? Is that supposed to be an inch? Mm -hmm. uh, on a six inch ring. Yeah. So I'm have a, a different four and a half, are we good? have a different amount of water. The ring is six by six in diameter and yeah. in depth. <clears throat> Mary's got the soil health buckets for sale through which group? Which group? Kansas Soil Health Alliance. Okay. That bucket with all these tests in is $75 or something. Which is a good deal. Yeah. You get to go buy each one of those things. Um, we aren't making a killing on them. We just have to source all the parts and put them together. Would you call it five minutes? That's where we're at right now. Yeah. There's still water right in Still water. That yeah, I got a hold of them. What? What temperature we have? still water under there. There's still water under there. There's still water in there. There's still water in there. You push the grass around, you just slow a little bit, and you can see the water, so you're still, your test is still active. And I can push bottle it. I'm going to just yeah. dig up some dirt. Well, someone else wants to dig up the dirt. It's not going to be fun. What do you think, Fred? Out south of Seneca, Kansas. 
a little bit south of Kelly, Kansas. Roy Winkler's new grazing group doing a water infiltration test and study between conventional pasture grazed and then we're going to go compare that with um, where Roy has uh, been rotational grazing for 20 years and I think I'm running out of battery so probably won't have any footage of that but uh, Green Hills Farm Project group got a new group starting that's you know three hours to drive to so some of you people on the west side of the state it's not that bad for you so get a hold of Roy Winkler from uh, Kelly Kansas that's your grandma wishing you were having this good a day